guys, it's your boy Benny. So there's a term IRL in real life, and this is a very important term because you live inside of a fake world, inside of a world of face tuning and filters and Instagram and TikTok and all of the crap that they can put on. You never even know what anyone looks like, right? So if you meet them in real life, then you'll actually understand what they look like and you can see who the person actually is. And I think that's really important and more people should meet up in real life because you can lie a lot online. Here's a good example that uh, uses me as uh, the pincushion here. So I tweeted recently about Joe Biden skipping leg day, skipping arm day, chest day, skipping Father's Day and Grandfather's Day and President's Day when this flubbery, blubbery photo of a very creepy, barrel-chested, man-boobed, noodle-armed, stick-leg Joe Biden appeared. Now, Joe Biden, of course, is more machine than man now. He's got plastic hair and plastic teeth, and his face isn't actually real, and they inject him with stuff. But one of the uh, responses to this I thought was really funny. It's a photo of me as a deeply obese fat person. <laughs> now, this isn't a real photo. I was on stage at this event many years ago, and I have lost a few pounds since then, as, well, as you can see. I don't actually look like that, but who cares? You can go ahead and add, you can make the person look, you can make the person look fat, you know, by putting them into uh, a, a, you know, fat person generator or whatever, right? And that's what this individual did to one of my photos in order to come at me in the comment sections, right, of this tweet. Who is this person exactly? Well, this person is called Chris D. Jackson. Who is Chris D. Jackson? Public servant. An elected office, former Democrat Party chair, Team Joe. He's a strategist. Oh, okay, interesting. He's got 45,000 followers. Gotta do, gotta pump those numbers up, buddy, for me to actually care. He pays for Twitter, which is hilarious. So uh, we appreciate your contribution to Elon Musk. And Christy Jackson is one of these, like, um, super lobotomized libs that, like, are reply guys to everything online. And so they get triggered by stuff that I tweet. They like this guy replies to me all the time, and then they are always trying to like jump into the mentions and the comments uh, and create some type of a ruckus. And so that's what he's doing here uh, to my account, and I think it's really funny. What's the point of all of this? Well, Christy Jackson has got himself a bit of a headline here, got a bit of a problem because Town Hall. A writer at Tom Hall, John Hassan, has gone through Chris D. Jackson's social media and realized that Chris Jackson is face tuning, not just not just your boy Benny, but is face tuning up Joe Biden, adding filters to Joe Biden to make him look younger and more fit. Oh, yes, baby. This guy is such a broken, limp-wristed simp for Joe Biden that he goes through like a feverish, obsessed teenage girl face-tuning photos of our decrepit, diseased, dementia-riddled president. Check this out. This is amazing. Biden allies spread photoshopped pictures of president to prove he's fit for second term, all right? So what happened was I tweeted about Joe Biden looking like a slob on the beach, right? And this inspired Chris D. Jackson to have a paranoid meltdown online and to start making photos like this. And he said, as I've said before, if they're going to make this campaign about fitness, game on, he tweets. Exhibit 6,000. And he, he has this image of Donald Trump next to Joe Biden. Just one problem with this image. And by the way, just in case you're wondering if this guy, this account gets, you know, no engagement, or whatever, you only have 45,000 views. This got a million views. Hey, man, this got some real, this did some numbers, right? 5,000 retweets, 4,000 comments. And Ron Klain, the former chief of staff for the White House, retweeted it. So who, boy, that's interesting. Here's the problem. It's Photoshopped. <laughs> Look at this. This is the actual photo of Joe Biden available on Getty Images. This is the photo they went, this this writer at Town Hall went through and found the original photo of Joe Biden. And this is the face-tuned version of Joe Biden. <laughs> you can see here actually the line. 
<laughs> it's so good. So apparently, though, this guy, this Chris Jackson buffoon, this donkey, goes through and facetunes all these photos of Joe Biden to make him look better. Okay, so here are originals versus the edited versions on Chris Jackson's uh, Twitter page. He's done this a bunch. Chris Jackson's July 8th tweet features the most drastic edits compared to other Photoshopped images. Other edits pictures all follow the same pattern. They add color to Biden's face, smooth out his wrinkles, exaggerate Biden's smile, as shown by uh, a smile where none exists. In each case, the result is a very different version of Joe Biden than you've seen on TV, a more youthful and ruddy compared to the president's actual appearance. Check this out. So there you go. Here's Joe Biden. And here they say, <laughs> they had a filter to him. <laughs> this is too good. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> this is like, a, like there, this is a, an Instagram filter. This is like the filter you do when you swipe on Instagram. That's what this guy's doing. Sitting there. Sitting there inside of a like darkened room, like breathing heavily, staring at these photos of Joe Biden. <laughs> how do I? How do I own Benny? And then look, these 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 absolute dumb. <laughs> Anna Navarro tweeted this photo. It's a photoshopped image. It's a fake photo. Yeah, they like try and tell you that the photos and videos you see of this guy falling down the stairs of Air Force One aren't real. Look at this. Joe Biden falls on his face. Oh, man, they have to Photoshop images of Joe Biden. Look at that. Incredible. Incredible. What a fake world we live in. Here's another, again, the uh, the Photoshopped image going around. Photoshopped image going around. This, they kept the Getty license on it to make it look authentic. They aren't real. These people aren't real. They are that desperate. They are that desperate. Man. Pretty embarrassing. Uh, this is the article you can see here. Here's the uh, author right here, John Hassan. Let's go ahead and give him a follow. Dems are so worried about Biden's age that they're starting to share Photoshop pics of him to make him seem younger. And oh, by the way, they should be scared because polling shows that not even Democrats want Joe Biden to run again. He's that unpopular. And everybody, anybody, even if you are, would never vote for a Republican, uh, if you have two eyes and a functional brainstem, then you're here to say, like, wait a second, J Joe Biden is obviously clearly unfit for office. But brainstem, uh, not something that Chris Jackson has to worry about. And I guess that's something. Good for you, Chris. Keep photoshopping. <laughs> I'll keep triggering you. And you can help us and communism by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our page here. God bless you. It's your boy, Benny. See ya.